Hi everybody, I want to spend a few minutes and show you how you would complete one of the exercises or problems within Cengage Now. From Canvas, you would go ahead and select the Module 1 exercises, for instance, and you would get to a screen that looks something like this. You would then select Start Assignment Now. And as you can see, for Module 1 exercises, we're going to have basically four exercises and or problems to complete. So I click on the first one, Exercise 1-18, and this is what I see. The darkened tab is the screen that shows up, and basically it's going to ask me to prepare a retained earning statement. Now you would have understood how to do this by going through the readings and completing the study guide and a few other things. So they're asking us to complete the statement. And if you'll notice the tabs across the top highlighted right now are instructions, the labels and account descriptions that I will need to complete the retained earning statement. And then finally, the retained earning statement itself. Those are the three things I'm going to look at right now to complete part one or question one of the assignment. So to that end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the three areas I need. Labels, retained earnings. I got those three highlighted. And what I want to do, I want to look at those in a vertical type order by clicking the button on the far right. So right now you can see I have the instructions highlighted. Next are my label uh, labels, and at the bottom is the retained earning statement that I'm going to complete. I find this to be maybe the easiest way to do it, looking at it vertically. You can also look at it this way. And I have two of them horizontal and one at the very bottom. You can do this any way you want. I kind of like this method, but it's up to you and you can experiment with each uh, exercise or problem that you work. I'm going to go back to vertical. OK, so now I'm ready to solve the problem. I come down to my retained earnings statement. And I need to complete the first line item, and that's going to be the label. Retained earnings statements have the company name, the name of the statement. And I happen to know from the reading that the correct entry would be for the month ended April 30, 2016. <clears throat> I can do this a couple ways. I can type it in myself, or I can do a copy and paste. And that takes care of my first one. Next, I would go ahead and begin the input. And my first step is going to be to put in the beginning balance. Retained earnings, April 1, 2016. Copy that down into my statement. Paste. And now I need to put in an amount. And I'll scroll back up to my instructions. And I can see retained earnings at the beginning was 384.5. Go ahead and type that in. Keyboard. That completes the first line. Next line of the statement, again, from the readings I happen to know is that it's going to be the net income. Go ahead and copy that label. And I need to know how much. And the amount's going to be 176,000. You'll notice it's telling me where to put the amount with that one. Dividends happen to be paid from retained earnings. And I notice in the instructions that there were cash dividends paid. So I'll go find the label. Copy that guy down into here. Find the amount. It's 26.5. Now, even though dividends are subtracted from retained earnings, when I post into this, I do not enter a negative sign. You would think that you would, but you don't. 
Okay, that's all the activity in the retained earnings so far. Now I need to calculate the difference between the two. There was an increase in retained earnings. Need to copy that. Put that down here and do paste. I need to now enter that amount. You can use your own calculator or you can use the one they give you. It'd be 170. Six thousand dollars minus twenty six five. That's going to give me an increase of a hundred and forty nine five. Finally, I'm ready to calculate my ending balance. Go back to my labels, copy that. Paste. And once again, I need my calculator. You can use yours or this one. 384.5 plus 149.5 equals 534,000. I think I'm right, but now I can go ahead and check my work. Notice I've got all check marks, red, green check marks, sorry, which means I'm correct. And any time you get confused on any of this, you can go up here to show me how. And it'll show you a video basically on how to prepare the statement. So I go back up to my instructions and as you can see that completes step one of the process. I still have to complete uh, number two, answer the question, why is the retained earnings statement prepared before the April 30 balance sheet? And I can answer this final question now at the very bottom. You know, the retained earnings statement is prepared before the April 30 balance sheet because Net income, I need to know the net income for April. And I can do another check my work. And as you can see, I'm wrong. So what do I need to do? Retained earnings statement is prepared for the April 30, 2016 balance sheet. Let's see if that one works. And that one is correct. So I'm done now. And I can do one of two things. Save and exit if I want to go back and look at it again. Or I can submit the assignment for grading. At any point along the way, remember, you can use the show me how. And you can also enter your tabs in a vertical order by click pushing the tab on the right hand side.